save this stuff so we can go up and memorize the report. I want to save the customization. I'll make a new group and I'll just call it like month end reports group reports and then add it boom bam save it so there we have that if i go into the first tab and then go to my customized reports and refresh the screen so there now we have the save so i can simply open that up and go directly to it uh going forward so you can also do other comparative reports as well so now we're come and you this is where we have to think how how many reports do i want to be given because we saw that there's a bunch of different reports we can do once we dive into the rail, realm of comparative reports horizontal analysis reports month by month reports and so on on the balance sheet and now we have a similar thing on the income statement right because i could compare for example the these two periods i could say i want to compare uh the quarter right i i, I could say from i'll stop saying right 10 oh one two three i got a, i think i got a thing i got a thing developing i'm saying right too many times i can tell i'm annoying myself so any case there's the prior quarter and the current quarter and so so you can do a quarter by quarter comparison you might do a you know a half a, a year by year uh comparison so we might we might take this for the whole year 010123 to 123 and there's january through december and the prior period there was nothing in it the prior period but you get the idea then let's bring it back uh let's bring it back to normal so i'll bring it back to normal here before we do the next thing the next thing we can do is if i hit the drop down up top we we might want to compare the current uh to the previous year so i might go down here and say okay i want to compare to the previous year and i'll do the same thing with the dollar change and the percentage change so now instead of comparing to the previous month it's going to go to the previous year so let's for example take this to back to one month of 120123 so now it's comparing december of 2023 to the prior year there's nothing in it but the prior year's december and if i wanted to compare november or whatever i could do that or if i want to compare like the quarter 10 uh 0123 to 12 31 2, 3, now it's comparing the quarter the last quarter of 2023 compared to uh 2022 the last quarter we can do the ha last half of a year the last two quarters and uh so on and so forth with this formatting the next one we have here is going to be the year to date so we can compare the current period like a month that we're looking at compared to the year to date numbers notice that we have a few more options here than we saw on the balance sheet because the balance sheet is a point in time report and so that there's where some of the differences lie so i'm going to say percent of year to date as well i'll go ahead and run it so now we've got this first one being december and then the year to date is january to december remember that this data set only had stuff in it for the last few months the last quarter or so so that's why there's not a huge difference in the numbers but you can see uh, that comparison as well then we also have the previous year to date so if i hit the drop down here we can compare to the previous year to date so i'm going to say okay run that and so there's our numbers for december and now we have the previous year to date january through december of 2022 nothing's in it for this time because there's no data in that time range with our data set okay so we'll get back into in future presentations we'll talk a little bit more about uh, these items in future presentations but those are the general comparative reports so the general idea with the comparative reports let's bring it back to normal first run it usually two types of comparisons one where you're going to be comparing things and then have the total of the things that have been compared usually in time frames months quarters uh years but you could also do customers vendors and and uh, classes and whatnot and doing this will allow you to have a total column that sums them up and allow you to have more than two periods to show on one report uh, and then the other comparative report 
format would be this way, where you're going to choose the current period that you're in, like month, quarter, or uh, year, and then select the previous period. So it'll pick the previous period, or you can pick the previous year, same time in the previous year, same month, same quarter, so on in the previous year, or you can do that year to date items down here. The most common ones would probably be uh, these two up top. Let's go back to the most common might be the previous period. So we have uh, November and December comparison and the general layout looks like this. You might call this a comparative income statement. Sometimes it might be called like a horizontal analysis that you might hear that term because we're comparing and doing our calculations horizontally as opposed to a vertical analysis, which we'll talk more about in a uh, future presentation.